is the season of Lent. Lent is upon us and that means people eat fish on Friday, I suppose. We are going to try five Lenten offerings at fast food restaurants to see which one is the best Lent option. Lent? Lent. L Lent. <laughs> and we're going to start. Come on. Come on oh, with me. Oh, we're going to okay. start. How do we get it? At Del Taco. Del Taco has brought back fish tacos for the Lent season. We're going to try all the things all around the city for Lent. <laughs> Lent. Stella, they also have the crispy jumbo shrimp taco. It's Lentacular. Starting things out with the beer battered taco. Beer battered fish taco they from give you Del. A little lime. Oh, and you a little can, like, sliver. Mm -hmm. A fish taco. It's good. What's on there? There is your beer battered fish with a little bit of coleslaw and a little bit of tomato and a smidgen of lime. Good. When you want that fast food fish taco, there it is. The shrimp taco. Mm. Same, exact same, same toppings. Same setup. Same setup, but shrimp. Okay. Okay, for shrimp. It's nice and citrusy. Citrusy, oh. Yeah. I'm going to show you one of the shrimp. Huh? Not bad. It gets the Lent job done. Amy? Yes? Can you eat a lobster for Lent? Oh, you look so sad. No, we're not going to eat. We'll take him home and feed him. Uh, the filet -o fish sandwich was invented by McDonald's specifically for people observing the season of Lent. The fish sandwich was introduced in 1965. It was the first menu item, the first new menu item at McDonald's from their original menu. Ray Kroc did not like the fish sandwich. He didn't want it on. But uh, here it is, filet of fish 2024. Lentacular. Let's try it. You know what a filet of fish sandwich is like? Yeah. That's what it tastes like. You got your fish, your tartar sauce, and your processed cheese. Mm. Still good. I've always found this interesting about the filet of fish. Half a piece of cheese. Why do they do that? What? It's always been just half a piece of cheese. Why? Did, why? I don't know why we don't get a whole piece of cheese, but um, fun fact, this is my favorite item at McDonald's. I had no idea all these years. I'd always get this. This was my go-to. The bun is so good. That was a good outing at McDonald's. The fish sandwich came out like right away. That was a good McDonald's. It was a good McDonald's. A good, uh, good filet of fish. That's Ooh, gonna be go. hard to beat. Here we go. On to the next. Now, Amy, your Lent observance does not necessarily have to be food related. It, it could be something else. The whole idea is to let something go so that you can pick something else up, something new. Try, try newness. Yeah. Like another type of fish sandwich. Our next spot made a big splash a couple years ago with their chicken sandwich. Yes, it did. And now it looks like they're trying a new 
fish sandwich. They've had the shrimp tackle box for a few years. I feel like Stella would like the shrimp tackle box. But we're here to try the new fish, fish sandwich. Let's go in. Classic or spicy? Are we going to get spicy? Oh, I don't know. Let's get spicy. Okay. All right, you see right here, it says limited time offer. So the fish sandwich isn't around forever. It was $5.99. Let's see it. Is it weighty? It's weighty. Okay. How does right. a fish sandwich get to be weighty? Oh, look. oh I see why. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh boy. All right, we're doing three of these on the same night. Two not on the same night. I'm scared. I prefer McDonald's. You prefer the filet of fish? It's almost too much. Uh-oh. Trouble. Good thing we got mashed potatoes and gravy. Not on the Lent menu. No. It's got meat in that gravy, but that's okay, because it's not Friday. Going to go with this big section back here with the pickle. It does not have the big splash like the chicken sandwich. Remember when everybody tried that chicken sandwich and they were like, oh my gosh, this is the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. It doesn't have that, but it's good. And I like the spiciness of it. We got the spicy one. The pickle on it is good. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see where it ranks. Mm, I know where it's gonna rank for me. Now, Amy, I think Jack in the Box has a fish sandwich, but we're not gonna go there. I bet it's good. Well, I'm just saying, it's possible. Do you, do you want to put it in there? Honey, do you all have a fish sandwich? We do one. Can I get one fish sandwich? All right. That's it. I don't know about this. They're making us pull up around to the front door, so that's the kind of fish sandwich we're going to be getting. It's going to be fresh. Yeah. Jack in the Box is the kind of menu where it feels like, you know, there's things on there that nobody ever orders. And so when somebody orders it, they're like, oh, get out the fish. Ready for the reveal? Yeah. There's a new element in town. Oh. Called lettuce. Oh, we've not had lettuce yet. We've had pickles. We've had half a slice of cheese. Got a like a... Let's look inside there. We didn't really look inside the... Uh, Oh, well, it's got lettuce. Well, it really is lettuce. -y. No pickle, no cheese. That looks like what Tartar kind of a sauce. roll? Some kind of a... Kind of a potato roll. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try. All right. I can't believe we stopped at Jack in the Box. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hot, right? It's really hot, and it tastes like Jack in the Box. <laughs> We fry our fish in the same oil as our tacos. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> All right, I'm, let me try it. <laughs> it's good. It's hot. I don't know if it's Stockholm Syndrome or what, but that fish sandwich kind of grew on me. I know. I just know that we ate that fish sandwich in the van where it should be. We... That's right. If we ate in the van, like dirty dogs. Dirty fast food dogs. <laughs> we are on a quest. There's a problem at the Wiener Schnitzel. We are at the Wiener Schnitzel. We've heard tale of the sea dog. The sea dog. I hope they have it. They have it. They have the sea dog. Yes. I really want to meet this hot dog guy. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Ever, like years. I've seen the Sea Dog promotion during Lent, and for years I've wanted to try it, but nobody ever wants to come to Wiener Schnitzel with me. So, thank you. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a really long fish stick. Oh. Gosh. And notice the half piece of cheese has returned. <laughs> I'm 
just try it. When you want that sea dog, <laughs> there's that sea dog. <laughs> now you should try it because it's not bad. <laughs> Would I go out of my way for this? We did. We did. We did. But it's yeah, we did it for the vlog. It's it's you know chestnut. It's fried fish. The bread is soft. Tons of tartar sauce. Yeah. But not bad. All right, we only have one more fish to try. And for our final Lent meal this week, we're going to have some fish at the lentiest of Lent you could ever get. Is that okay to say? I don't know. We have come to the Father O'Hare Hall at St. Joseph's Catholic Church where the Knights of Columbus are cooking us up some Lenten fish. <laughs> Look at all the Catholics. As far as the eye can see, Catholics everywhere eating fish. No, still no. We're waiting in line again, but not for a corn dog. We're waiting in line for fish. Malt vinegar. That's the stuff. Knights of Columbus, why are you so crazy? It's flaky and good. <laughs> what do you think Max thinks about it? Max, what do you think? He licked it. Okay, right, so now we've had six fishes this week, six different fishes from six different places. We are now going to rank them six through one. We started out thinking we were going to do five, and then you added on one in the middle of everything. So, here are our rankings for, <laughs> for the Lent fishes that are at fast food restaurants and local establishments. Are you ready? I'm ready. Stella, maybe lead us through it. Count us down. Oh, For okay. like number six. Yeah. All right. Number six. Three, two, one. Del Popeyes. Taco. Popeyes is the, your last still? Yeah, I didn't like it. It's so good. It. I didn't like the spices on it, and it tasted too fishy. Fish? I thought that about Del Taco. It was too fishy. Mm -hmm. I didn't get that, Del Taco. Okay, okay. On to the next. Number five. Three, two, one. Sea Jack dog. in the box. Sea <laughs> <laughs> dog? Sea dog. <laughs> I feel like, though, Sea Dog could have jumped up one had they not put on a pound of tartar sauce. <laughs> okay, all right. Jack in the Box beat the Sea Dog for it, you. I mean, yeah. Oh, not for me. Uh, uh, Jack in the Box, yeah, okay. You saw the thing. Number four, three, two, one. Jack C in the Box. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, so we're just this close. Right. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll move on since number, we've already. Number <laughs> number three, three, two, one. Del Popeyes. Taco. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Popeyes fish sandwich. It was it was bulky. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> then I really like the pickle was thick. <laughs> yeah, thick pickle. Oh, and, maybe uh, that's why I didn't like it. Nice and flavorful, and the fish was nice and spicy. I like it. All right. Number two. Three, two, one. McDonald's. Saint Joseph's. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> All right, now I was prepared for this. Oh, I filmed a little video of my fish and I'm inserting it right now. 
you can see that it's a real fish, real piece of fish, hand breaded by the Knights of Columbus, fried with love, raising money for charity. And you're gonna pick a well, little that's square. Why it's so high up in my ranking. Gonna pick a little square. Patty. How do they don't know that what my number was? That's <laughs> All right, let's do this. Number one fish for Lent. Lenty fish, number one. Three, two, one. Saint Joseph. <laughs> it's simple, it's basic, and it's everything you want in a fish. <laughs> it is not everything you want in a fish, it's square. Now, mind you, it was good. It was good. I liked it. It's why it's my number two. But it's a square piece of mixed. <laughs> We're just going to have to agree to disagree. <laughs> hey, while we got you here, why don't you take oh. a moment to like this video oh. and subscribe to our channel, Witbits channel. <laughs> and I'm going to put a link in the description below of a time when with, happening? with friends, we went and made a fish sandwich at In-N-Out Burger that we called the fin and out or the in and fish we, we, we actually made a fish sandwich out of a filet of fish and an in and out and we'll put that down below. I can't believe you. I cannot believe you. I think you just ended with bits right there. <laughs> no. No. If you if you would have had that filet of fish last night, Stella, what? you would have seen what I was what I was saying. Show the cats.